A very good morning. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Roy Thinasadian. These are the stories making headlines across the country. Let us start the bulletin from Buyukwe District. Now, it is almost a month since two primary seven pupils of Green Valley Primary School in Namwez Injeru Central Division went missing. Teachers and parents of the two pupils, Elvis Sewanyana, a resident of Nyamwezi, and Faizo Bali Mulimba, a resident of Wampala, say police has failed to give them a report on the whereabouts of the two boys. Chimera Kato, the father to Sewanyana, said the said he last saw him on the 12th of September when he left for school after giving him a holiday fee of 20,000 shillings. Kulusu Mugera, mother to Bali Mulimba, says her son left home a day after Sewanyana's disappearance and went to school but at around 11.15 a.m. Bali came back from school in an angry manner and he told her that the director of the school, Patrick Chigozi, had suspended him and he had to go back with his parents to explain the whereabouts of his deskman, Sewanyana. Mugera says before she could get out of the bathroom and then go to the school with Mulimba, he was gone. She goes to Patrick, the director of Green Valley Primary School, says the boy did not come back to school and no one has since has seen the two since then. Let's move on to Wududa District, where President Jeremy Museveni has apologized for the delayed relocation of residents from the landslide-prone areas of Bududa District. Museveni attributed the delay to the bureaucracy in the government processes and pledged to, spend, to speed up the matter. Deadly landslides that claimed over 350 people struck an amidst Parish and Bukala Sasab County in 2010. Museven went to the epicenter and toured the affected areas. In the wake of the landslides that displaced over 10,000 people, government relocated 603 families to Chidiandongo in 2014. Over 5,000 other families were to be relocated on 2,828 acres of land that government purchased at 8 billion shillings in Bunamwete sub-county in Bulamboli district. You're still watching New Vision TV News. I am Rothina Sejin. Let us take a break and, and look at what is making headlines into this copy of the New Vision. Now, for those who cannot access the hard copy of the New Vision, you can get uh, subscribe to the link on your screen for ePaper where you can access all the products. I am Ruth Nasadia. Let us continue looking at more stories and making headlines across the country. Now, from Kagadi District, for decades, communities living adjacent to forests uh, that are habitats for chimpanzees have either been chasing away the primates or fighting them for space. This has resulted in deaths of either children or the animals. Leaders from Hoima, Kagadi Kivali, and Kakumiro, Masindi, and Kikum, uh, Chikumbe districts have resolved to let the chimps stay in their areas. This was after being sensitized on the importance of the primates. Uganda has about 5,000 chimpanzees with the Bunyoro sub-region having isolated habitants such as forests. Kivali Forest National Park alone has over 1,450 chimpanzees and employs over 200 people and earns the, the country between 6 billion shillings and 8 billion shillings every year. Closing off today's bulletin is a story from Butaleja district where every time it rains in the Elgon region, flood waters set in the low-lying neighboring districts of Butaleja affecting ongoing roadworks. Richard Wire, the district chairperson, said planned works or roads are often suspended to give the floods time to subside. Boaz Munyore, the LC1 chairperson of Buhehe village, said even road gangs deployed by the works department failed to do their job whenever it rains. 
Edith Hamia, the resident of Naviganda Parish, said the flooded roads prevent expectant mothers from reaching hospital for routine antenatal visits. Fatuma Tabo, a farmer in Bugolola B village, said they incur heavy losses, especially during the harvest of perishable crops such as watermelons when roads are flooded. And that's all we had for you from me, Ruth Inasege, and the New Vision TV team. Remember, you can get more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is New Vision TV. Our Facebook page is The New Vision. Twitter is at New Vision Wire. And you can also catch up with me on my Twitter handle, which is Ruth the voice.